everyone i'm very glad to talk to you about kerala god's own country the name kerala has an uncertain etymology one folk etymology derives kerala from the malayalam word kera coconut tree and alam land this land of coconuts due to the abundance of coconut trees the word kerala is first recorded as ketalaputto in the 3rd century BC rock inscription left by the Maurya emperor Ashoka at the time one of three states in the region was called cheralam in classical tamil chera and kera are variants of the same word the word cheru refers to the oldest known dynasty of kerala kings and is derived from proto tamil malayalam word for lake The earliest Sanskrit text to mention Kerala as Cherapada is the late Vedic text Aitareya Aranyaka. Kerala is also mentioned in the Ramayana and the Mahabharata, the two Hindu epics. Kerala may stem from the classical Tamil Cheruvelam, declivity of a hill or a mountain slope or Cheralam, land of Cheras. Mythology of Kerala is very interesting according to the sankam classic purana nuru the chera king shenkutuven conquered the land between kanyakumari and the himalayas lacking worthy enemies he besieged the sea by throwing his spear into it according to the 17th century malayalam work keralolpati the land of kerala was recovered from the sea by the axe wielding warrior sage parashurama the sixth avatar of vishnu and kerala is also called parashurama kshetram the land of parashurama now let's see the prehistory of kerala a substantial portion of kerala may have been under the sea in ancient times Marine fossils have been found in an area near Changanasheri thus supporting the hypothesis. Rock engravings in the Edakil caves in Wynad date back to the Neolithic era around 6000 BC. Archaeological studies point to the development of ancient Kerala society and its culture beginning from the Paleolithic age through the Mesolithic, Neolithic and Megalithic ages. Foreign cultural contacts have assisted this cultural formation. Historians suggest a possible relationship with Indus Valley civilization during the last Bronze Age and early Iron Age. Now to the ancient period. Kerala has been a major spice exporter since 3000 BC according to Sumerian records and it is still referred to as the garden of spices or as the spice garden of India Kerala spices attracted ancient Babylonians Assyrians and Egyptians to the Malabar coast in the 3rd and 2nd millennia BC Phoenicians established trade with Kerala during this period The land of Kerala Putra was one of the four independent kingdoms in southern India during Ashoka's time and the others being Chola, Pandya and Satyaputra. Scholars hold that Kerala Putra is an alternate name of the Cheras, the first dominant dynasty based in Kerala. These territories once shared a common language and culture within an area known as Tamilagam. Along with the I kingdom in the south and the Arimala kingdom in the north the Cheras formed the ruling kingdom of Kerala in the early years of the common era The Cheras had trading links with China West Asia Egypt Greece and the Roman Empire Contemporary Sankam literature describes Roman ships coming to Muzirs in Kerala laden with gold to exchange for pepper Merchants from the West Asia and Southern Europe established coastal posts and settlements in Kerala. The Israeli connection with Kerala started in 573 BC. Arabs also had trade links with Kerala starting before the 4th century BC as Herodotus noted that goods brought by Arabs from Kerala were sold to the Israelis at Eden. 
in the 4th century the knanaya or southeast christians also migrated from persia and live alongside the early syriac christian community known as saint thomas christians who traced their origin to the evangelistic activity of thomas the apostle in the 1st century the earliest saint thomas christian churches Cherem and Jammu Masjid regarded as the first mosque of India Paradeshi Synagogue oldest active synagogue in the commonwealth of nations were built in Kerala early medieval period Nambudri Brahmins migrated to Kerala during the early middle ages apart from introducing the caste system they also changed the socio economic life of the people by commissioning new religious centers A second Chera kingdom also known as Kulashegra dynasty of Mahodayapuram was established by Kulashegra Varman which ruled over a territory comprising the whole of modern Kerala and a smaller part of modern Tamil Nadu Under Kulashegra rule Kerala witnessed a developing period of art literature trade and the bhakti movement of Hinduism A Kerala-like identity distinct from the Tamils became linguistically separate during this period around 7th century. For local administration, the empire was divided into provinces under the rule of Naduwaris, with each province comprising a number of deshams under the control of chieftains called as Deshawaris. The inhibitions caused by a series of Chera Chola wars in the 11th century resulted in the decline of foreign trade in Kerala ports. In addition, Portuguese invasions in the 15th century caused two major religions, Buddhism and Jainism, to disappear from the land. The social system became fractured with divisions on caste lines. However, in the 14th century, Ravi Varma Kulashekara of the Southern Wayanad Kingdom was able to establish a short-lived supremacy over Southern India. After his death, in the absence of a strong central power, the state was divided into 30 small warring principalities. The most powerful of them were the Kingdom of Samudri in the north, Wayanad in the south, and Kochi in the middle. In the 18th century, Travancore king Sri Aniram Thirunal Marthandavarma annexed all the kingdom up to northern Kerala through military conquest resulting in the rise of Travancore to preeminence in Kerala The Kochi ruler sued for peace with Aniram Thirunal and Malabar came under direct British rule until India became independent The maritime spice trade monopoly in the Indian Ocean stayed with the Arabs during the High and Late Middle Ages. However, the dominance of Middle East traders was challenged in the European Age of Discovery. After Vasco da Gama's arrival in Kapad Korikode in 1498, the Portuguese began to dominate eastern shipping and the spice trade in particular. They established a trading center at Tankasheri in Koilon during 1502 as per the invitation of the then queen of Koilon to start spice trade from there. The Zamorans of Korikot permitted the new visitors to trade with the subject such that Portuguese trade in Korikot prospered with the establishment of a factory and a fort. However, Portuguese attacks on Arab properties in its jurisdiction provoked the Zamorin and led to conflict between them. The Portuguese took advantage of the rivalry between the Zamorin and the king of Kochi, allied with Kochi. Fort St. Angelo or St. Angelo Fort was built at Kannur in 1505 and Fort St. Thomas was built at Kollam in 1518 by the Portuguese. However, the Portuguese suffered setbacks from attacks by Zamorin's forces in Malabar region, especially from naval attacks under the leadership of Korikot admirals known as Kunyali Marakars, which compelled them to seek a treaty. An insurrection at the port of Koilon between the Arabs and the Portuguese led to the end of the Portuguese era in Koilon.
In 1571, the Portuguese were defeated by the Zamorin forces in the Battle of Chalim Fort. The Portuguese were outstood by the Dutch East India Company, who during the conflicts between the Korikor and the Kochi gained control of the trade. They lost to Dutch at Coilon after 1661 and later the Portuguese left southwestern coast. The Dutch in turn were weakened by constant battles with Martha de Verma of the Travancore royal family and were defeated at the Battle of Colachel in 1741. An agreement known as Treaty of Mavelikara was signed by the Dutch and Travancore in 1753 according to which the Dutch were compelled to detach from all political involvement in the region. Martha de Verma annex northern kingdom through military conquest resulting in the rise of Travancore to a position of preeminence in Kerala in 1766 Hyder Ali the ruler of Mysore invaded northern Kerala his son and successor Tipu Sultan launched campaigns against the expanding British East India Company who resulted in two of the four Anglo Mysore wars Tipu ultimately ceded the Malabar district and South Canara to the company in the 1790s. Both were annexed to Madras Presidency of British India in 1792. The company forged tributary alliances with Kochi in 1791 and Travancore in 1795. By the end of 18th century, the whole of Kerala fell under the control of the British. either administered directly or under suzerainty there were major revolts in kerala during the independence movement in the 20th century most notable among them is the 1921 malabar rebellion and the social struggles in travancore in the malabar rebellion mappala muslims of malabar rioted against hindu zamindars and the british raj Some social struggles against the caste inequalities also erupted in the early decades of 20th century leading to the 1936 temple entry proclamation that opened Hindu temples in Travancore to all castes. Post-colonial period. On 1st November 1956 The Taluk of Kasar Code in South Kandra district of Madras, the Malabar district of Madras and Travancore Cochin without four southern taluks merged to form the state of Kerala under the States Reorganization Act. A communist led government under EMS Nambudri Pada resulted from the first elections for the new Kerala Legislative Assembly in 1957. It was one of the earliest elected communist governments after communist success in the 1945 elections in the Republic of San Marino. Spread over 38,863 square kilometer, Kerala is the 21st largest Indian state by area. It is bordered by Karnataka to the north and northeast, Tamil Nadu to the east and south. and the Lakshadweep Sea to the west. As per the 2001 census, Kerala is the 13th largest Indian state by population. The economy of Kerala is the 10th largest in India. Kerala has the lowest positive population growth in India, the highest human development index, the highest literacy rate, the highest life expectancy and the highest sex ratio. The culture is a synthesis of Aryan, Dravidian, Arab and European cultures developed over millennia under influences from other parts of India and abroad. The production of pepper and natural rubber contributes significantly to the total national output. In the agricultural sector, coconut, tea, coffee, cashew and spices are important. The state's coastline extends for 595 kilometers and around 1.1 million people in the state are dependent on the fishery industry which contributes 3% of the state's income. 
The state has the highest media exposure in India with newspapers publishing in nine languages mainly English and Malayalam. Kerala is one of the prominent tourist destinations of India with backwaters, hill stations, beaches, ayurvedic tourism and tropical greenery as its major attraction. The Kerala state is divided into 14 revenue districts with the capital being Thiruvanthapuram. On the basis of geographical, historical and cultural similarities, the state's districts are generally grouped into three parts. The North Kerala districts of Kasarkod, Kannur, Vainad, Kurikod, Malappuram, the Central Kerala districts of Palakkad, Thrissur, Ernakulam, Idukki, and the South Kerala districts of Kottayam, Pathanamthitta, Alappura, Kollam, Thiruvanthapuram. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you again with yet another interesting topic. Stay tuned to English Time with Mithu Timothy. See you soon. Bye for now.